G'day adventurers. Now, it's a beautiful day outside. I really do wish I was out on the bike, uh, but unfortunately I'm a little bit fluey, the family's a little bit fluey, and I should probably keep that here at home and be responsible. Today we're going to be talking about something that I get asked all the time, um, and that is about mapping and finding your way while you're out on the beaten tracks. Little disclaimer, I don't own a dedicated GPS, I've never I come into a situation where I've needed one and I'm a bit cost prohibitive to buying one. I don't want to spend the $600 that it costs to buy one because um, so far I haven't needed it. That may change and if it does, I'm sure I'll make a video about it. So, uh, to get the best offline mapping experience. So that means you don't need a SIM card, you don't need your phone uh, connected. What you're going to need is, or what I recommend, is one of these... Probably not that one, that one's so old. Just go to the cupboard, go dig up, one of your old Android phones, something that the battery still works on. If you don't have that, get down to Cashies or a pawnbroker and go buy one. Don't waste your money on a brand new one, it's not worth it. Um, but, once you get yourself an Android, look, it can be an iPhone if you only have old iPhones. Uh, same apps are available for the, end, end, uh, for the Apple App Store. But what you want is an app called OSM And. So, I'll throw that up on the screen beside me here. Once you've downloaded and installed it from your selected store, it's going to ask you to download the relevant maps for your area. Um, obviously, you'll need to be connected to Wi-Fi with some description from that. So go ahead, get those downloaded, and in my case, I got all my local area, so Queensland, um, and I downloaded a few of the neighbouring states should I ever want to get there. I've got plenty of space, the phone's got nothing else on it. Once that's downloaded, boom, you've got offline maps. It's that easy. Should you want to get a hold of some tracks, so if someone goes and sends you one of those crazy GPX files, as they like to call them, uh, pretty easy to load into here. All you've got to do is find the link, download it to the phone, and then on the top left, you hit the little world icon, scroll down to tracks, hit add more, and go ahead and find your downloaded file. Once you select it, you um, hit back and get out of it. You can change the color and things like that, if that's what you're into. And, boom. It's that simple. You can follow that little line that it's set there and you can follow people wherever you need to go. Uh, other things, if you're someone that doesn't like following maps, you like making them, maybe. Bottom left of the screen, uh, hit the menu button, go to plugins, and trip recording is the one you want. So that'll let you record any of the trips, you just hit start, and it makes itself a GPX file for you to share or just download and keep in your little private stash, however you want to do it. I'll put some links down below to some awesome GPX files. Little note, if you do use any of mine, Please just be mindful that uh, things change, maybe farmers put gates up, sell property is their right, um, disrespect their landowners, and sometimes you may see an awesome track but it's all gated up, that's just how it is. I don't recommend removing gates, doing silly things. Uh, that's how we get ourselves banned from riding motorcycles in fun places. Uh, one other little handy app, if you go down the bottom in, oh, sorry, one, under, one other handy tip in this app, if you go down the bottom of the menu, uh, scroll down and hit configure screen. Scroll down again, you'll find that there is speed, so you can have it display your current speed. I find that super helpful because the way I mount this phone on my bike, uh, it actually blocks my speeder. So I need to be able to see the speed, uh, mainly while I'm off road. I don't have this on while I'm on road. One last little note the reason I'm recommending you grab an old crappy phone uh, rather than the good one that lives in your pocket, uh, these things don't handle too well, especially new cameras with image stabilized and new phones with image stabilized cameras don't handle well for the vibrations that often happen on a motorcycle the last thing you want to be doing is that or the last thing you want to do is drop your bike or be riding through some scrub and it knocks it off and you've lost a thousand bucks off the side of your bike or it breaks the phone whatever this thing i think new this phone is a hundred bucks and then my wife had it for a couple of years and now i'm using it if i lose it so be it anyway that wraps up this video just a nice short one i'm going to get out on the tracks next weekend uh, and take you guys along for the ride. It should be a good one. And speed safely. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.